Good afternoon. I just had an opportunity uh, to be briefed by Assistant Chief Chaplain and the entire team that uh, includes our fire department, our paramedics, uh, the California Highway Patrol, our Sheriff's Department, uh, all of them working together with sister agencies like the FBI and ATF on uh, this tragedy that occurred. Uh, first of all, let me say thank you to our police department. You know, I know there's a tactical sergeant there that really was able to do a lot of things to uh, get to the situation quickly. And uh, I, I have to say, it could have been worse if they didn't arrive in time. The 911 calls that were responded to very well and lives were saved uh, today. And I want to say thank you again to our police department. I'm here with uh, Rosemary uh, Turner, who is the uh, president of Northern California UPS. Uh, I'm personally here with uh, our uh, family uh, team, where it's our fire department, police, our paramedics, uh, but particularly our health department uh, to help uh, with the trauma that these employees have uh, been uh, a part of today. And uh, they've been here for a number of hours and I wanted to be here uh, to give them the support, particularly the families uh, of the uh, victims, uh, as well as all the employees who may have been witnesses to this tragedy. They've had to go through quite a few hours of uh, complete interviews as uh, the police and investigations do their job to make sure they thoroughly understand all the impacts of this incident. Uh, so they'll be here again to make sure the site is safe as well. Uh, these tragedies uh, are, are so terrible and they of course bring us together. And for UPS, uh, I, I personally felt, uh, I know my driver, I know him personally. He delivers every day. Uh, they're happy, hardworking people, and we know them. We know them in every single neighborhood of the city. And so I felt the necessity to also come down here and register uh, my personal support and the city's official support for all of them uh, to know that we're backing them up because sometimes the trauma and the impact of these kinds of tragedies don't occur for hours, if not days, and we want to make sure that we're doing our best to take care of their families and themselves as they try to find some way to return to normality. Uh, but this is an active uh, uh, site right now and for a number of hours it'll continue to be until the investigations are completely closed. Uh, but we will have our health workers, our trauma experts to support these employees. Um, and I want to say again that this tragedy is one that affects everyone and we want to make sure that UPS, uh, their management, their employees know that the city is uh, behind helping them recover from this incident uh, and to make sure that we're continuing to make everybody safe. Uh, so again, it's my opportunity to thank all of the men and women in our police department. Uh, these are things that they train for and we want to make sure that we continue giving them support so that we can prevent these kinds of tragedies from happening. The days to come, we'll be thoroughly looking at everything uh, that occurred, why they occurred, uh, in order to see if we can do even better to prevent this from happening. But uh, I think we saved lives today with the very uh, proactive efforts from our police department and all the other agencies that responded uh, to help save lives. 